Hello, I'm Dr. Nupur Sood. I'm an obstetrician, gynecologist and a gynecoloproscopic surgeon. I'm presently working with in association of Motherhood Hospital, Sajapur Road, as well as I have my practice on Bhamnahalli Circle and Hosur Road in Bangalore. So now during Diwali, there are two important aspects we have come across. One is the loud noise around us with the firecrackers and second is the, a lot of dust, smoke and pollution emanating especially from the firecrackers themselves. So first of all regarding the noise. Now normal conversation as you are hearing me or you would be in generally in a conversation with anybody would be up to 60 decibels of sound. Now firecrackers begin from 80 and the loudest a normal human ear can hear or can rather tolerate is 140. Now the baby starts getting troubled when it's around 80 decibels. So in fact any loud noise of homes especially during the fires is not a good sign for the baby. It's disturbing the baby as well as the patient of course. So a good idea would be to stay indoors, but that's not always possible. So it's a festival time, you'd want to visit places or you would like to be outdoors too. So the next option would be to wear at least some earplugs so you can reduce the intensity of sound and stay away from the direct noises. You see, a little away from the loud noises where they're coming from. I would also like to tell you that if it's a loud noise, it has a long-term effect also. It's not just a sudden loud noise which is just, you know, disturbing. But in the long run, any sort of noise which is beyond 80 decibels and over a period of time could lead to hypertension during pregnancy and even lead to affection of the baby. It can lead to even a premature delivery at a later stage. So a loud sound in itself is definitely disturbing but the sound for a frequent and a longer duration is equally bad. Now regarding the pollution, now the firecrackers emanate a lot of smoke. Now these firecrackers also have traces of metals which if inhaled can be toxic to the lungs. To anybody for that matter and then there is emanation of carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide gases now these gases when inhaled are not only affecting you but they are going through the blood circulation into to the fetus also and are going to affect it in the long run it can lead to growth retardation and even uh, you know premature again deliveries so it's not good for the fetus again the best way of course again to avoid is stay indoors but you know again that's the best way to escape from it. If it's not possible you really need to go outdoors, stay away from the direct smoke so that you don't inhale the direct smoke uh, immediately or if you can and if it's available wear some masks. Now generally even when we walk on the streets and we, as, as you can see pedestrians walking with the high pollution levels in Bangalore, we have started wearing masks. So it's a very good idea to do that if you feel it's too uncomfortable or not easily available. A simple option would be just tie a cotton dupatta around you just for that short period so that you're not at least affecting yourself. Now, especially for the asthmatics or people who are already suffering from respiratory disorders, it can precipitate the asthma attack during that period. So you need to be very, very careful. And in case of any emergency, always have your emergency numbers kept aside and known to your people, your family, your doctor's number, your hospital's direct contact number, so that in case there is something, you wouldn't have time to dial somebody. There would be someone by your side, your friend or your relative or your family member who could immediately reach to us and help you out for emergency care.